All right. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome. Um, we're going to be doing a full body workout this morning. So lots of compound movements using all different parts of your body to kind of help your balance and all that kind of stuff. All right. So what you need today is a set of dumbbells, if you have it. And the other thing, if you have it, is some sort of bar, whether it's a broomstick or a hockey stick, um, anything long that works to kind of set along your back. All right. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. You can do it body weight or you can do two dumbbells. Totally works either way. But if you have it, grab that and we'll get going here. All right. Give me one sec. Get everybody in here. All right. Let's start with just some basic body weight squats, just getting those legs warmed up and moving. All right. Squatting down, pushing through the heels. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of a twist here. So when you're coming up from your squat, bring your elbow to your knee. Opposite side every time. Switch back and forth. All right, we're going to switch to a side lunge. So you're stepping out, lunging, bending that leg on the way out, tapping in. Stick with just your left leg here. And switching to the right leg. Sitting back into that lunge. Awesome. All right. Let's roll those shoulders out a little bit here. Wake up that upper body, rolling forward and rolling back. All right. Get a nice wide stance here. So you're into your sumo squat stance. So wide stance, toes pointing just slightly out, squatting down, and you're just bringing your hands an X. You're just switching side to side with those arms. Waking up that spine a little bit. Awesome. All right. Come to the end of either your mat or your space, and we're going to do some down dog taps. You're going to walk yourself down into your tall plank position, and you're just going to bring yourself up. Touch the opposite foot and back down. Just alternating either side. Couple more here. Awesome. You can stand yourself back up again. All right, let's start with just a light jog. Jogging on the spot. Starting to bring that heart rate up a little bit. All right, we're gonna start into a step jack. So you're stepping one hand, one foot out, going along with those hands. For those of you on our Zoom call this morning, we had a little technical difficulty last week with the connection. So if my screen goes blank, try and listen and see if my voice still goes. And you should be able to follow along. All right, I'll try and be as clear as I can. All right, if you feel comfortable, move into a jumping jack. If you don't want to add the jump, you can stay with those steps. Three, two, one hand back down to that jog. All right, you can stay here with the jog. You can move into just a step or a walk. And I'm just gonna explain what we're doing today. So you're gonna have three emotions. You're gonna do 20 seconds on, 
five seconds rest, 20 seconds on, five seconds rest, and then 30 seconds for the last exercise. All right, so 20, 20, 30. Your first motion is when you're gonna to start to use this bar, if you have it. If you have a bar, a broomstick, hockey stick, whatever you have, you're gonna hold this straight out in front of you, and we're gonna be stepping into a forward lunge, twisting towards the knee that's bent, stepping back, sticking with the same leg, just twisting with your core, all right? So from the side, left leg forward, twisting to your left, and coming back up. Left leg forward, twist to the left. All right, so keep doing that with the same leg. Do 20 seconds, keep yourself nice and steady. Brace your core that whole time so you're using those obliques to twist your body. Second motion is gonna be the same thing with the other leg. So right leg forward, twisting towards that bent leg. All right, twisting from there. Trying to keep your hips nice and square, twisting with your core. Third motion is gonna be a Russian twist. So lots of twists for this one. So you can come down onto the floor, you can use that broomstick or that hockey stick if you want, and just do your Russian twist from here. Or if the stick is a little too long, you can grab a dumbbell and just keep it in front of you, all right? Again, bracing your core as tight as you can, keeping your feet off the ground if possible. If you need to, drop a heel. And that's your third motion, and that one will be 30 seconds, so that one's a little longer, all right? So grab a stick if you have it. If you don't have it, you can also do this with a dumbbell, holding this straight out, all right? Same thing, lunging forward, twisting with the dumbbell, all right? So grab a dumbbell or a stick, whatever you have, and we'll start with the left leg forward lunge. All right, here we go, left leg forward. Three, two, one, go. Keep this motion nice and slow. So you're nice and slow and controlled. So you end up using those core muscles. Try and keep the weight in that front leg in your heel. So you're using your glutes to stabilize yourself. And rest. All right, switch legs. Right leg forward, three, two, one, go. Again, twisting towards whatever leg is forward. Three, two, one, rest. All right, down for those Russian twists. Three, two, one, go, 30 seconds. Halfway, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, grab some water. Got 30 seconds here. Then we'll do it all again. So again, nice and slow and controlled with this movement. Keeps your body nice and steady so that you're using all of those muscles really well. The faster you do it, the harder it is to use the right muscles. All right, left leg forward, here we go. Go. Go in five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, going in with the right leg forward. And go. Brace that core the whole time. Three, two, one, rest. All right, done for those Russian twists. Go.
Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, good. Stand yourself up. You can set that bar off to the side and grab your dumbbells. So this next one, your first motion is going to be a rotating curl. So you're going to pull like a normal curl all the way up, and then you're going to rotate those dumbbells and push them all the way down. And you're going to start to feel those through the triceps on the way down. So curling up, twist, lower them down. All right, so the dumbbells will rotate in your hands. Nice and slow and controlled for this one again. These are small muscles, so the slower that you do them, the more you get lots of muscle tension and really fire up the muscles, all right? So your second motion is gonna be a side raise to a front raise, all right? So you're going up at the sides, pull it towards itself in the middle, lower in the front, all right? Up at the sides, keeping your elbows soft, your arms aren't locked, but you're also not bent, so just keep them nice and soft. Pull those towards yourself, lower them down. All right, side, front, down. Your third motion is gonna be an alternating press. So you're gonna keep those dumbbells in front of you, get a nice even stance with your feet, and you're just gonna rotate one up, one down. All right, this whole set, nice and slow and controlled. All right. Slow movement, all right? So alternating curls, and then the side to the front, and then those alternating shoulder presses for the 30 seconds, all right? Here we go. All right, here we go. Starting with those alternating curls. Three, two, one, go. Curl up, rotate, lower down. Really try and focus on the muscle you're trying to use. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going into those side raises. And go. When you're bringing them up to the sides, try not to have those dumbbells come any higher than your shoulders. You're stopping just at where your shoulders are. Three. Two, one, rest. All right, going into those shoulder press. So you're starting up in front of you, go. Nice and slow, control. Lots of tension on that muscle. Three, two, one, rest. All right, grab some water. We're gonna do it all again. Fire those up. The nice and slow movement keeps lots of tension on those muscles. So you start to feel that fire a little bit quicker. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, alternating curls, go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going into those side raises. And go, side, forward, lower. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going into shoulder press, starting with them in front of your face and rotating up, go. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, grab your stick again. And the last set, we're going to start to use this again. You're going to start with what's called a good morning. So it's going to be using the hamstrings through the glutes into some lower back, all right? So you're going to have this sitting just along your shoulders. I just have it across the top of my shoulder blades here. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend forward, plant those heels, bending forward, so you're sticking those hips back, and then squeeze the glutes on the way up. Try not to bow your back so you're not putting a huge bend in your back and you're not rolling forward. Nice neutral spine, shooting those hips back and coming up from there. So your knees are still staying soft, your legs are not locked, and coming back up. All right, you should start to feel right about here. You get a nice tension in the back of the hamstrings. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. All right, so that's your first motion. The second one, get a nice wide grip on that bar. And you're going to lean forward and you're going to do a wide row. All right. So you're pulling with those elbows, trying to shoot those elbows back. All right. So you're going back. You're not pulling up here. Back towards that back wall. Pulling towards just kind of center of your, of your chest here. Right about in the middle. Okay. So nice wide row. And then your third one is going to be a barbell squat. So putting that back on your back. Nice even stance. So sitting about shoulder width apart with your feet. Squatting all the way down. Really squeeze the glutes on the way up. Really slow on the way down. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. All right? If you want to, you can even count to three on the way down. It really slows down your squat to get lots of good tension in the legs. All right? So those good mornings into your barbell row, the wide row, into the squat. All right? Same thing, 20 seconds for the first two and then 30 seconds for those squats. All right, good mornings, here we go. Go. Try and keep your neck in line with your back so you're not craning your head up. You're keeping that neck neutral. And rest, all right, flip that ball over. Wide rows. Go. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pulling that bar right to below your chest. Three, two, one. And back up onto your shoulders for those squats. 30 seconds. And go. Keeping that chest up. Squeeze. Nice and low, nice and slow on the way down. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. All right, grab some water. We're going to do that all again. And for those of you that don't have a bar, I just realized I didn't explain that. If you don't have a bar for the good mornings, just put your hands just on the side of your neck, and you're just going to do the same motion just with your hands. All right, same thing with the squats. And rows you can do with dumbbells. All right, here we go. Let's start with those good mornings. Three, two, one, go. Again, a nice neutral spine. You're not bending your spine or arching your back. Just shooting those hips back. Three, two, one. All right, bring that over. Going in for those wide rows. Go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back onto the back. Going in for those squats. Slow down, here we go. Slow, squeeze up.
five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, can set that aside? All right, we're gonna do a full minute and we're gonna do a plank. All right, so we're gonna do ten, the full minute of your regular plank. You can either go from your elbows or from your hands, whatever is best for you. And again, knees or toes, whatever works best. All right, so your basic plank here, keeping your hips nice and low so that your hips aren't going up. So try and keep your body as steady as you can. You're gonna do as much of that minute as you can do, all right? If you need to take breaks, feel free. And again, if you start on your toes, you start to get tired, you can drop to your knees, pick those toes up off the floor, brace your core the whole time, all right? As soon as that minute is up, you're gonna give me 10 push-ups. It can be from your knees, from here, or you can go from your toes, whatever you feel comfortable with, at your own pace, just give me 10 push-ups, all right? So one full minute of a plank into 10 push-ups. All right, here we go, three, two, one, and go. Keep those elbows stacked under your shoulders. Try and brace your whole body for this. Halfway. Keep holding. 20 more seconds. Keep those hips low as long as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, give me 10 push-ups, your own pace, and go. Awesome. Whenever you're done, you can stand yourself up. And we're gonna move into a little more conditioning now. So get our heart rates up a little bit more. Really get that sweat going. We have five exercises again. 25 seconds on, three seconds break. So it's a really short break, but you should be able to quick switch between. All right, your first motion is gonna be a broad jump. So you're gonna hop forward, scurry back. Hop forward into your squat position, walk yourself back. If you only have room for a little bit of a jump, that's okay too. You can just do a step, two steps back, all right? That's your first motion. Second one is gonna be a mountain climber. So onto your mat, bringing those knees up towards you, keeping your body nice and steady. All right, third motion, you can either sprint right on the spot, so you're running as fast as you can, or you can do the in and out with your feet. If you want some coordination in there, you can. Going in and out as quick as you can. Fourth motion, going down onto your mats again. It's gonna be some bicycle crunches. So going onto your back, pulling those knees towards the elbows, really pull them in to accentuate those oblique muscles. And your fifth one, hop right back up. And you're gonna do some squat jumps. You can either add the jump in, so you're gonna squat, hop to the other side, and hop back. So 180 jumps. If you don't want the jump, you can squat and just pivot. So you're pivoting back and forth. You can go all the way around. You can switch back and forth, whatever you want to do, all right? So five things, 25 seconds on, three seconds break. We'll do it a couple times. So starting with those broad jumps. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Keep yourself nice and low. Three, two, one. All right, going down to your mountain climbers. Go. Keep 
Bottom those knees to chest. Three, two, one, and up. All right, we're doing quick feet or sprints. Start again in about 12 seconds. All right, starting with those broad jumps. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Going down onto the ground, mountain climbers, go! onto your mat. All right, we're going to switch into some ab motions here. You're going to start on your back. Get our timer ready here. All right, so it's going to be 25 seconds on. You're going to have five seconds break between. 
touch your breath, all that kind of stuff. All right? So you're starting with some scissors, planting your palms on the ground, bringing your feet nice and low as much as you can go without your lower back coming up off the floor, and you're just shooting your heels out. So I find I pull my toes towards the ceiling, and you're drawing a line with your heels. Again, only go as low as your body will allow. Brace your core, pull that belly button into the ground. As long as your belly button is pulling through, you can keep yourself nice and low. If you start to arch your back, bring your feet up a little bit higher. All right? That's your first motion. Second motion is going to be a knee roll. So again, keeping your palms down, your feet straight out. Pull with your knees and roll yourself, your lower back off the floor. All right? So just a roll and tuck. All right, so scissors into those roll and tucks. We're gonna each thing we're gonna do twice. All right, here we go. Starting with scissors. Three, two, one, and go. Again, pushing out with those heels, bracing your core. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna switch into those knee rolls. Go. Try and exhale as you're pulling your knees forward. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, going back to those scissors. Here we go, go. Pull that lower back into the floor. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, switching into those knee rolls. And go. Nice work. All right. We're going to switch it up and you're going to go on to a side plank. So again, same thing, 25 seconds on, five seconds break between each one. So you're going to do a side plank and you have two options here. You can just do your basic side plank. Elbow stays stacked beneath your shoulder here. You can go from your knee or you can go from your feet, whatever you like. So you can stay with just this motion or if you want to add a little bit of a challenge, dip your hips down and up. Squeezing those obliques, going back and forth. Again, if from your knees, same thing, just dipping that hip down and pulling it up. All right, 25 seconds on your right side, five seconds break, and then we'll go to the left side, back and forth, each side twice. All right, so here we go, let's get set, set. Again, keep your shoulder directly above that elbow. All right, here we go, up in three, Two, one, go. You can keep your hand on your hip. You can have it straight up, whatever you like. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, switch on to the other side. Here we go, and up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to the other side. You can do a basic plank, or you can keep doing the dips, whatever you want. Go! Five, 
Keep holding, 10 more seconds. And rest. All right, flip to the other side. Three, two, one, up. Try and break those ab muscles, squeeze the glutes, hold everything nice and steady. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right. The last thing is going to be a mixture of different planks. So you're going to do a plank up down and then a plank pull through. So you're going to need one dumbbell or a t shirt, anything that you can move around, or you can do it with just with body weight. All right. So your first motion is going to be your regular plank. Again, either from your toes or from your knees, whatever you like. And you're going to hop yourself up onto the hands, lower onto the elbows. Keep this motion nice and slow and controlled. So you're doing less hip movement. So you're just trying to keep yourself steady, bring yourself up and down. All right? Your second motion is going to be a pull through. So you're going to have a dumbbell here, and you're going to be in your tall plank position. And you're going to grab that dumbbell, pull it to the other side. Just going back and forth. All right? Try and keep those arms stacked under your shoulders. And I find I actually keep my feet a little bit wider apart at the back this time, just to keep myself a little more steady. All right? If they start to get hard, you can switch to just a basic plank. All right, here we go. Last thing here. All right, start with those up downs. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, grab that dumbbell. And here we go, pull through, let's go. Last thing here, we're just doing each of these ones. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, let's stretch some things out here. Get ourselves moving again. So since you're here, when you go into your child's pose, feet together at the back, knees out a little bit. Sink those hips back. Reach forward. All right, bring yourself up into your down dog position and just walk those heels to the end of the ground. All right, get into your lunge position. You can have knee down or toe down, whatever you like. And drive those hips into the ground. All right, switch legs, other leg forward. Again, driving those hips into the ground. All right, stand yourself up. If you have that broom or that stick, grab that stick here. You're gonna put it behind your head. Get a nice wide spot for your hands. Do a nice wide stance here. And you're just slowly twisting to the side. Push with this hand in front of you so it's pulling that shoulder away. Should feel a nice stretch through that shoulder. And release nice and slow. 
Again, pushing with this hand that's in front of you. Should feel your back shoulder stretch. Awesome, all right. Bring that bar up straight ahead of you. You're just gonna let that drop back just slightly. You can feel a little stretch in the chest. Bring that bar forward all the way down and let it hang in front of you. Trying to open up those shoulder blades. And slowly bring yourself up. Awesome, you can set the bar down. Do a little bit more stretch here. So pull that front arm in front of you here. And other arm. Awesome. One more bend forward. You're going to go all the way up, lower all the way down, and grab the back of your ankles. Just let your hips sink back just a touch so you can feel as I stretch through the back of the legs here. Awesome. Slowly pull yourself up and roll those shoulders back. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Monday. And I will hopefully see you guys if you're around on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning for some upper body. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, Bev. That was Thanks great. Thanks so much. Oh, I love seeing Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Hi, All right. Bye. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.